Igbo Apex Socio-Cultural Organization, Ohans and Igbo, yesterday described a selfish scheme by some notably Yoruba leaders for the South West Presidency. Some Yoruba leaders, including Vice President Yemio Sinpejo, former Lagos state governors, Senator Ahmed Tinabu and Babatan Fashola, had urged the people of the Southwest to vote massively for President Muhammadu Buhari in this year's general election to enable the zone grab power in 2023. But Ohans, which said it was not interested in 2023 Igbo presidency but on restructuring of the country, described those pushing for the Southwest 2023 presidency as overambitious and selfish. According to the group, restructuring will tackle the skimming of the Southwest to produce the 2023 presidency, speaking to Saturday Telegraph in a Bikliki. The national publicity of the group, Prince Abiyar Padma, expressed regret that while the 2019 elections were still to be conducted, some selfish politicians were already scheming to become president in 2023. He said, the most important thing like we will always say is that Nigeria needs to be restructured. If you restructure Nigeria, scheming and maneuvering to become the president will subside appreciably. When you restructure, you downsize the enormous powers that are vested in the federal government. When you do it, the interest will be less. When you restructure this country, these political maneuvering and so much thuggery, all of them will reduce. Can you see how selfish politicians can be? We have not had 2019 general elections and somebody is already scheming to become the president in 2023. Our interest is not even in 2023 presidency, our interest is on restructuring. If they restructure Nigeria, they can rule forever but let them restructure Nigeria so that the people will feel the impact of government. Also reacting, the chairman of ABBA Unit of the Civil Liberties Organization, CLO, oh, Professor Charles Chikazi, said Osinbe Joe demonstrated his high level of political insensitivity in his comment about 2023 presidency going to the southwest. Chikazi said the Igbo presidency of 2023 is an issue of the political right of Digbo as part of the strong tripods on which Nigeria stands and not centered on the re-election of President Muhammadu Buhari. He said, Professor Rosen Bajo's comment is just a narrow sense of judgment that is based on tribal sentiments. For a professor of criminal law and justice who ought to understand the political landscape of Nigeria, the multiplicity of ethnic groups, tribes and races with high sense of the dominant tripod of Igbo, Hausa and Yoruba grouping to go ahead and make such comment is quite unfortunate. For him to have discountenanced the Igbos who have been skimmed out of the political settings of Nigeria since after the civil war is unbelievable. As far as we are concerned, the most logical stand of anybody who claims to love Nigeria and wants its progress and peace should be for Igbo presidency in 2023. Even the and most Yorubas have talked about it. Even former President Obasanjo said not long ago. I'm sure Osinbe Joe knows the truth and he is far smarter than the proposal he's putting forward for his people for 2023. He knows that his proposal cannot even fly anywhere in Nigeria even in Yoruba land. He should be discountenanced as Ndigbo forge ahead to get their mandate. We all can build a better Nigeria. The issue of Igbo presidency is the issue of right of the southeast and anybody who wants to thwart or discountenance it is only smoking a pipe dream and of course that person wants to blow up this country into pieces. So, let's be specific, it's not in the hands of President Muhammadu Buhari or Vice President Osin Bejo or any other person. It's in the hands of generality of Nigerians, right-thinking Nigerians who understands how a sovereign nation is built. Chief Jerry Obasi, the leader of the APGA breakaway faction, authentic APGA, while reacting.